Those big old chops from Cooper's are real showstoppers, but luckily Ashley is here to show us a way to make these chops at home that don't involve spending 18 hours in your own smokehouse. Right. <laughs> so I just wanted to pay attention real quick to these four 18 to 20 ounce bone-in pork rib chops. These are no joke. Call ahead to your butcher at your local grocery store. They'll be more than happy to cut these for you. You probably won't find these in your meat case at your local grocery store. Unless your grocery store is called Jurassic Pork. Flintstone pork, <laughs> exactly. But the way we were able to cut down on the cook time was to start the pork chops in a flavorful brine. Now we have six tablespoons of kosher salt and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Just gonna combine that there and I have one and a half quarts of cold water. The brine is gonna season the chops throughout and the sugar is gonna help to promote some really nice browning once it's on the grill. Okay. Those are huge. They are. Luckily, I did my, my workout this morning. <laughs> I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on here. Put a lid on it. Put the lid on it. And refrigerate these for one hour. Okay. While the pork chops are brining, it's time to make our seasoning blend for the pork chops and our barbecue sauce. Okay. Now, there's something really, really special about this barbecue sauce. It's super tangy, it's vibrant, it's beautiful, red, crimson color. It's just, Sold. yeah, it's <laughs> really good. We have two slices of bacon here, and I'm just going to render this over medium heat, and it's gonna start to turn nice and golden brown. So that's gonna take about four to six minutes. Now, while the bacon is rendering, we are going to make our spice blend for the pork chops. We're gonna start with two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of granulated garlic, one and a half tablespoons of salt, and two tablespoons of cracked black pepper. Just gonna mix this together here. And that again, just like in the brine, was kosher salt? Kosher salt, exactly. This is nice and rendered, and as you can see, the bacon is turning beautifully golden brown. Mm -hmm. And here we have a quarter cup of grated onion. And you can just do that simply on the large holes of a box grater. And I'm also gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is gonna cook for about two to four minutes. Now we use grated onion quite a bit when we make homemade barbecue sauce. You can just grate the onion on the sides of a box grater. And what that does is it busts open the cell walls of the onion. Then once it starts to cook, the onion literally melts into the sauce and you never know it was there. We have three quarters of a cup of cider vinegar. You wanna scrape the bottom of the pot, get all those flavorful brown bits off the bottom mm. of the saucepan. I'm gonna cook this about two minutes. This looks nice and slightly thickened here. I'm gonna add one and a quarter cups of chicken broth, one cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of hot sauce, and then we have a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke, and finally one quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm just gonna bring this to a simmer and let it simmer for 15 minutes. That sauce looks beautiful. It is gorgeous. Yeah. You're right, it's kind of tomatoey red from the ketchup. Nice and crimsony in mm -hmm. color. I'm gonna discard the bacon because it's done its job at this point. Yeah, this is when I would usually disagree with you and say, oh, we're gonna eat that bacon, but all of the flavor from the bacon is in the sauce. Mm -hmm. This just looks like bacon at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna keep it warm by covering it. And now it's time to turn our attention to the brined pork chops. And I've patted them dry with paper towels. Just gonna evenly distribute the spice blend over both sides and all along the sides here. And I'm just gonna pat the seasoning on here. Just gonna wash my hands. These are gonna be really smoky pork chops. Mm. So here we have two cups of soaked mesquite wood chips, and we've soaked these for 15 minutes. And we have a nice piece of heavy duty aluminum foil. Seal it here nicely. Finish it off by cutting two two inch slits to let that mesquite wood come right through the wood chip. So Ashley is using mesquite wood chips here, and that really is traditional for these style of pork chops. In the Llano, Texas area, mesquite trees grow everywhere, and they use mesquite to flavor their barbecue. Now it has a very distinctive flavor that's really going to stand up to those super-sized pork chops. So in this case, definitely stick with mesquite.
right, I'll grab the pork chops and let's go grill. Sounds good. Bridget, it's time to get our grill ready. I have four and a half quarts of charcoal and it's just covered partially with ash, so it's time to pour it on one side of the grill. And now, the mesquite wood chips that we were talking about earlier in the wood chip packet. I'm just gonna put these on top of the charcoal. And then we're gonna put the grate just on top. And I'm gonna know that this grill is ready for the pork chops. Once I start to see some smoke coming out, which should take about five minutes. Okay, Bridget, I see smoke. I do too. So that can only mean one thing. Ooh. It is time to clean and oil our grate. That looks about right. I'm just gonna take some wad of paper towels here and some vegetable oil. Just run the paper towel over the grates just to grease them ever so slightly. Now, <laughs> the seasoned pork chops. You will see that I am putting the bones facing the fire because the bones at this stage are gonna act as a shield. They're gonna protect the meat, they're gonna let the meat cook a lot more evenly and a lot slower. I'm gonna put the lid on here with the vents open completely and you'll notice here that the vent is directly over the meat. Now what's gonna happen is the smoke's gonna be building up nicely here and it's gonna go right through the grill, through the pork chops and out of the top vents. And just to mention, I do have the uh, vents completely open on the bottom of the grill. Perfect. About 45 to 50 minutes and I'm gonna flip them halfway through cooking. Okay, Bridget, it's time to flip the pork chops. Oh, oh you can really smell that mesquite as well. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm gonna keep that bone facing the fire. They look great. I'm gonna put the lid back on and let them finish cooking. Okay, another 20, 25 minutes. <gasps> oh. Yep. They are beautiful. You know, they have a little bit of that smoked meat look. It takes on a kind of a warm tinge to the meat. I love that. You know that that's good food. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just going to take a quick temperature here. 140 degrees. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. I'm going to transfer the chops to our carving board here. Ooh, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. These are mammoth. Just gonna tent this loosely with some aluminum foil, and we're gonna head inside and finish our chop. Sounds good. Okay, it's almost time to eat. I'm just gonna finish these pork chops that have been resting with a little bit of that barbecue sauce we made earlier. And we have rewarmed the sauce. Now be nice and generous at this step. <laughs> now I'm gonna carve the bone off here just like so, and I'm gonna slice these. Oh, look yeah. how juicy. With a slight pink ring around the exterior mm -hmm. from that mesquite smoke. Good indication of a good, good smoking. Yeah. I'm oh. so excited for you to try this. My mouth is watering. I, I can barely <laughs> contain myself. Incredible looking chops. Oh, these look good. Oh, let's tuck in. Yeah. Really savory. Oh my gosh, tangy sauce. And this pork is some of the most moist pork I've ever had in my life. No lie, she's absolutely telling the truth. This pork is so, so juicy mm. and it's perfectly cooked. I'm a happy girl. Mm. Are you? Mm-hmm. Good. Well, making these amazing Texas thick cut pork chops at home begins at your butcher. Get 18 to 20 ounce bone-in rib chops, and they're huge. Brine the chops in salt and sugar, and then apply a savory rub just before grilling them with a peaty mesquite wood chip packet. Finish the chops with a bacon boosted barbecue sauce, and there you have it. From Cook's Country, a real showstopper, Texas thick cut pork chops. Texas sized, y'all. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>